Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with this series of Spring MVC using Boot. Now what we have done till now is it's very simple code, we are accepting a request and then with the request I'm also getting a name which I'm able to print on the home page. But what if I want to send some more data because normally when you send a data from a client to server it might have multiple parameters. Maybe I'm sending the entire object values example let's say what I will do here is I will create a simple class and I will name this class as let's say alien. Now of course when I say alien it simply means that uh, who someone who is working in a virtual world. So basically we are programmers and we work in virtual world that's why I refer, I refer programmers as aliens. So we have this alien class which is very simple. In this alien class I want to have certain variables. So I would say this is int private int aid I want to have private string a name and private string language so everyone have their own favorite language right you might work on multiple languages but there is some language which you always love so we have these three variables and with these three variables I want getters and setters So we got variables and we got getters and setters. I want these values to be accepted. So from a client side, I want to send these three values. So example, if I go back to my page, if I want to send three values, I would say name. Now this time it will not be name, it will be a name because I'm sending a names. Okay, I will just go back to my thing. So we got a name, a id and lang. Let's go in that sequence. So I would say a id is equal to one and 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 we'll say language is equal to Java. So I want to send these three details. The moment I say enter, you can see we got an error because we don't have anything as name there. We got a name. Okay, so first of all, I, I, want, to, I want to send these three things. If I go back to my page, you can see I'm not accepting all. I'm accepting name. It should be a name this time. And then we need to create three variables, right? It will be a id, it will be my name, and then we got language. But what if I want to accept the object as it is? Because of course, right, you are sending three values. So instead of accepting three different, three different variables, what if you can accept it in an object? Will that work? So what exactly I want is, I want to say alien, alien. Will this work? Let's try. So what I will do, instead of saying name, I would say name, I will simply say obj, and then I'm passing an alien. So I'm not passing one by one variable, I'm passing the entire object. So that's a question, will it able to accept all the values because alien does have three variables, but will it work? Let's try. So I will go to my home page and then we are printing a object here because object.aid, I will give a comma and then I will say object.a name and then we have one more which is obj.lang. So we got these three things. So will this work? Let's try. That's what we are trying to do here. So if I go back to my page and if I say enter, you can see it's working. We got one Naveen and Java. So that's the beauty of sp about Spring MVC, right? You can send the values and it will be getting it will be getting accepted in one particular object. So there are different there are multiple reasons why you should be moving from normal server JSP to Spring MVC, right? Uh, so this this thing is working. Now if I I just want to do one change here, which is what if I want to ex what if I want to implement REST services? Example, instead of sending data in this way, maybe I want to send data in JSON format. Maybe I want to accept data in JSON format. Maybe I want to give a proper link for the hierarchy. How will I do that? Now, if you are not sure about what is REST API, I will surely recommend you to watch my REST API videos using Jersey so that you can understand how to implement REST using Spring. So yeah, so we'll end it here itself. We'll not be starting with REST in this video. So I hope you enjoyed till this point because we'll be, we'll be moving towards Spring REST. So let me know in the comment section if you, if you want something extra and like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching everyone.